Hey, yo, what's good? It's Capital X, Capital X TV. Um, let's see, how am I gonna kick this off? Well, you know, a few days ago I had posted that I had two episodes that I was gonna post in the same day. Um, I ended up posting one, and the second one I kind of pulled. It was supposed to be an extension, talk, you know, continuing to talk about the whole Joe Rogan um, situation, and um, yeah, the whole attack with him saying the N word. You know what I mean? And uh, so I did the episode. We were editing it, and yeah, man, I got. I, I went deep in that. I went deep into the subject, you know what I'm saying? I have a history with that word, and, and um, you know, I have my own opinion on it. But I don't think that the episode, you know, I don't think people's ready to, to get into it that deep, you know? So I cut it. I pulled it and decided to make this. I will be talking about my new single. Um, but before I get into that, just to, you know, yeah, you know, kind of tie that off. Um, about pulling that, you know, it, it's funny that I decided to pull it, and then here a couple of days later, Fat Joe, Fat Joe caught some, you know, caught some smoke um, for commenting on it, but he was kind of on the other side of the fence from where I was coming from. I wasn't defending Joe Rogan, but, you know, I was, I went deep on the usage of, uh, of the word itself and um, how you know, calling it the N-word, everybody, you know, saying it like that, I, you know, I was saying that it preserves the power, it preserves the power that that word used to have, and I feel that we as, you know, yeah, as a tribe, as a family, as a race, you know, the whole human race, you know, we should evolve to a point where, you know, neither words or actions, you know, um, you know, push us out of our squares. We should be able to keep our squares no matter what. I mean, uh, no, that doesn't mean we're going to take your people calling you, you know, derogatory words to your face and all that. It's not like that. But to be able to discuss the word and actually say it during an intellectual conversation, that's where I was standing at pretty much. But Fat Joe went the other side. He was saying that, you know, Joe Rogan had no business saying that word and people called him out you know, as being a hypocrite because he has used the word, I believe, and defended using that word, you know, not long ago. So they, you know, yeah, it's like, it's it's a touchy, you know, very sensitive uh, subject matter that needs to be handled uh, delicately, and that's why I pulled my episode. I didn't want to, you know, fan the flames, you know what I mean? I'm starting this this vlog out just a nice, you know, nice little fire then eventually I will throw gas on that fire and it will go ablaze but for now I want to you know what I'm saying just keep it cool so instead I'll be talking about real quick yo if you don't follow me on Spotify y'all need to spot follow me on Spotify the link is down there in the description of this video I would appreciate it I would greatly appreciate it I have a single that's out right now it's called man up and um I've done a couple of videos on the whole pandemic, you know, the vaccine situation, you know, and kept, you know, it kept it as neutral as possible. I'm not for or against, though, because of the statements that I make in the song, I would be labeled anti-vax. No question about it. They would label me anti-vax because of what I'm saying in this song. So I'm pretty much just kind of expressing you know, my stance on the situation. I'm not anti-vax, you know. Um, I've been vaccinated, of course, when I was, you know, a kid, and my son has been vaccinated. Um, I did do some research on vaccinations um, and uh, just to oversee his whole schedule of vaccinations to get them spread apart and all that. I think I shared that. Um, it might be in the pulled video. If not, it's in the other video. I don't know. But, yeah, I... Um, so, I just... I'm not... I'm not anti-vax, but this vax, you know, there's just too many red flags and there's been two years for them to, you know, kind of, you know, uh, be a little bit more transparent and speak to people instead of uh, blocking people and, um, you know, actually ostracizing scientists and doctors that, you know, raise legitimate questions as to, you know, the narrative that's out there. Everybody's trusting the WHO and trusting, you know, these agencies, trusting the, the, you know, pharmaceutical companies. But 
bottom line is, is there's people that have questions. And instead of answering these questions and maybe, you know, have open discussions with these individuals instead of just blackballing them because of whatever reason, you know, they should have open discussions and that would probably increase the trust in people. Because right now, like I said, there's just too many red flags, too many unanswered questions. So my stand is my stand. I, you know, in reality, I'm not for over against. I am for, you know, being able to choose for myself and not be forced to do it. You know, not be ostracized, you know, not being able to go into places and not being able to, you know, travel and all that. They did all that to try and force us all to take the vax. And it's like, yo, everybody that's unwilling to get vax, maybe if you answer their questions, maybe if you, you know, were a little bit more transparent and talk, you know, out in the open with these uh, scientists and doctors that, you know, yeah, they have something to say. So... Man Up is basically talking to, you know, it's like I said, sharing my stance on it, and it's talking to others that have chosen to, you know, stand their ground. You know, I'm in a position where I was able to stand my ground. Yeah, if my situation was different, would I be able to? Yeah, more than likely I would have, man. You know, I would have went to great lengths to, you know, um, yeah, to stay true to myself. You know what I mean? So... So Man Up is on all streaming platforms. You can actually listen to it on YouTube. I have it down in the music section. You know, it's not like on my page, but I have um, like a playlist. All my music that's put up by my distributor on YouTube is there, so you can listen to it. But I prefer, you know, Spotify. I just do. Uh, or title if you got title man title's good you know what I'm saying you could put it on put that shit on repeat on title I ain't gonna you know I ain't gonna mind at all. Uh, title pays a little bit more money, that's all, you know what I mean? And the quality, sound quality is supposedly a little better. Um, so, yeah. Just check it out. Alright? So, it's called Man Up. I said, it's a dope rhyme. It's, it's, I made the beat. You know, I've been trying to put out um, you know, music where I create the beat and write the rhyme. I'm actually in the middle of, or not in the beginning of, trying to release a single every month uh, throughout the year. So, Man Up is actually the first one. Um, yeah, Outrage is coming on February 25th. I'll be doing a video on that too. So, just, uh, yeah, man, just check it out and show some love, you know what I mean? Put it on repeat. Share it with people, you know what I'm saying? Like it. Just pass it around. So, there it is, man. It's called Man Up. Get up in there. Spot the fire, man. Put it on repeat. Play it down here, you know what I'm saying? Show love and support. Alright? Till next time, it's Capital X, Capital X TV. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I'll appreciate it, alright? Yo, peace, love, and progress. Yo. Times are changing, yeah, they more dangerous. The stick of kids lurking in dark places. Gang bangers drive by some hot speed car chases. Junkies getting wasted under the staircase. Now it's deadly viruses, masks on all faces. Race is coming up with new ways of being racist. Facts are on facts, that's the new segregation. Get shot by the cops and get popped by vaccination.